Hello everyone and welcome to the main story quest line here at Grey Ogre Games. My name is Mick. We host for tonight. We are watching the match here between Nicholas Tan and Gerald Chua. Uh, Nicholas we saw earlier on in the day. He is playing the um I believe is the Ice Ice Wind deck. And uh well, I'm not quite sure what Gerald is playing. But let's see. Let's hopefully find out. Uh, once they start the match. Anyway, uh, Steven Go is <laughs> complaining just now. Why are you streaming live Mono L? Yeah, Mono L versus Mono Lightning. Mono Lightning versus Mono Lightning. Not the most exciting, um, exciting game. It feels like Mono Lightning versus Mono Lightning feels like when you wh whoever's the first guy to pull the trigger probably loses. You never know, yeah. Anyway, um, so Jaro here going to be going first. He's playing what? Is that wind lightning or is it mono lightning as well? Okay, so looks like it's mono lightning. I see an Elsid. I see. Well, Elsid must be found. Like you have to play Elsid if you're playing lightning, right? You know, Elsid, Elsid combo with Onion Knight and uh, Rigdea. Very strong, very powerful cards used. Aru Senna on Nicholas's side. Oh no no. Uh, Nicholas here is playing the mono mono wind deck. Right. Not the uh wind ice deck. Which we saw uh you know in the first round Joel was playing. Uh, sorry, Mitch was playing, not Joel. Right. Nashu. We're probably just gonna pass the turn. Nope. Hildebrand getting in and then passes the turn so does mill away a, a Barbarisha but uh, looks like Nicholas has another Barbarisha unfortunately won't be able to get rid of that uh, that uh, what's his name Hildebrand but has to play something so he plays the Arif. He has a second Arif in hand, which is uh, not particularly very good. Beats in again and just passes the turn, casts another Red Mage. And. Discards the Arif, casts a Bart, and untaps all his uh, win characters. Arif is a very powerful effect here. Uh, it's going to be able to give all his um, all his forwards what we what we affectionately know in Magic as hexproof. Let's bring it up. So, uh, cost three crystals. When it enters the field, choose up to three backups you control other than Arif and you activate them. Uh, but the killer, the killer power move here is a uh, planet protector where you will be able to cast uh, or you, you discard another Arif, tap it and then activate all forwards you control. They cannot be chosen by summons or abilities this turn. A pretty strong card there. Whoop. Ah, there we go. All right, camera froze for a while. No worries, no worries. We get it back. All right, Ritz. Man, I've been impressed uh, by Ritz and Shara uh, in win decks. Like, last game we saw it in Joel's deck and he wasn't even playing, you know, he, w he wasn't playing like mono uh, win. But Ritz and Shara, pretty good cards. I think, yeah, against like mono water, like Ritz is crazy, crazy good. Like, you can't bounce any of, the, uh, of your forwards. Your opponent can't bounce any of your forwards. Pretty 
keeping of course another A Riff open. Jaro here considering uh, that j man the Exodus is Exodus is pretty good, uh, especially with his own Hildebrand. Like he'll be able to put it uh, put it back into his hand, I believe. Hildebrand. Uh, if Hildebrand leaves the field due to your opponent's summons or abilities, return him to your hand instead. And Hildebrand does not return to your hand if he receives damage higher than his power. So, you know, that the Exodus is actually gonna, you know, gonna reset that Hildebrand. Which is pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Alright, maybe party attack, maybe? Trying to force the block on Nicholas's side. But he's definitely gonna block that Moogle, right? I mean yeah, despite despite you wanting to use that Moogle for to to combine with no no or one of the no no's. That Moogle pretty good. I'm gonna take one damage here and Mills and A Riff. And that's the third A Riff uh from the Opus 1, the rare area that we've seen uh, being used. Oh wow, Maria is the draw for Nicholas and Maria is pretty good here. Makes these guys like humongous, hard to deal with. So hard to deal with. Yeah, but a bit slow. Like if he casts that that Maria right now, gonna be not gonna lie, he's gonna be a little bit slow. He's got Alexander as well, but Alexander's not very useful in this situation. So maybe give up the Alexander for the Maria. Yeah, looks like looks like it. Alright, so Maria hits the battlefield. And casts the summer and passes the third. Uh, I like how all the mono colored decks they have uh, the one mana summoner in their deck uh, you know just as a mana guy as a guy who could produces crystals you know I'm not very fond of you know one mana backup doesn't do anything backups have to do something you know like all right beamer here on Jaro's side and just passes the turn Mm -hmm. Wow, okay, so double Diablos. Which you can literally get rid of anything. So, Nicholas here reading a card and Beam of. Interestingly enough, let's bring it back up. Beamer, interestingly enough, he receives damage from a forward. Only it only activates when he receives damage from a forward. And here a good way to get rid of the Hildebrand, just like dealing it damage. Swings in with with the bots, maybe? Yes, no? Don't know? Yes, yes, maybe? Who knows? Alright, beats in with Mug Mog, Mughal. Ah, uh, gets rid of the um, the Emperor. It's actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good trade there. Hmm. 
Gets me an LC. Just gonna block. I think that's a mistake. I believe that might be a mistake. But he does have another bots in hand, which is fine. All right. So Onion Knight does get rid of that bots. I guess that's fine. Gonna be swinging in with his Moogle. All right. So before attacks. Okay, just a value bots there, but not so much value. Ritz hits the battlefield and just passes the man. I like Ritz a lot now, but uh, not very effective in this situation. It's just a uh, eight thousand forward. I say just, uh, pretty big, pretty big. But with Shara, she becomes ten thousand, which is very, very big. But she needs Shara. Shara, Shara also, you know, with the Shara will be able to kill off uh, the Onion Knight there. Wondering Diablos, do you choose one forward, delete one thousand damage for each character you control. And if you control a class zero cadet forward, select up to three backups you control and activate them. Okay, sure. Uh, still a very powerful effect, and right now we'll be able to deal eight thousand damage, which is a lot. Of course, Gerald can just you know, active uh, or just destroy one of Nicholas's forwards. I don't think it's the ability to like destroy backups. I'm gonna be casting a second behemoth. So that's big. That's pretty big. Probably gonna swing in with that with that bot. Most likely. You uh, could force Gerald's hand a little bit, es especially force that uh, the Exodus. Well, the Exodus here wouldn't be that great because it's uh, Ritz is three, Moogle is four, and Bats is five. But that Odin, that Odin looking better and better this game, and Wow drew an Idia as well last turn. All right, Bats goes in. Okay. Uh, gonna respawn and I'm gonna Diablos your your behemoth. Are you going to try to block with the other behemoth? Is it worth it? <laughs> uh, wow, I don't think so. Just takes the damage. No space for backup, so you attack swing with Ritz. Ritz is 8,000. Might want to trade, maybe. No, just takes the damage, okay, and it's another Exodus. Second main phase, and uh, Nicholas here casts. Oh man, I do not know what card this is. This is a new card. What card is this? What forward is this? Oh? Oh, it's a ranger. Okay. 
Ranger can't be chosen by your opponent's abilities. It's three mana for seven thousand. Well, in this case, it's an eight thousand. Uh, wow. Let's get rid of most of uh, Nicholas's board except for the bards. Yeah, Ranger can't be chosen by your opponent's abilities. Unfortunately, it can be chosen by uh, I won't say chosen, but it can be destroyed by a Exodus. Wow, oh, that that does man, that feels so bad. I get rid of your Moogle, you cast another Moogle. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Because here maybe casting that Dogon, yep. I'm gonna cast that Dogon and pass the turn. So Dogon now is a seven thousand. Uh Bart is huge and Moogle is a seven thousand character. Gerald here still hasn't found his Lulu right just yet. But he will be able to get rid of the Dogon right now, and I think he should. Uh. Oh, yeah, both players are. Uh, quite even footing that beam of is just you know gumming up the board uh, it's very difficult for nicholas to attack into the beam of all right so gram is here gonna look for another El Cid. probably El Cid is going to be doing a bit of blocking duty next turn on nicholas's turn it's dispensable at this point. Or you could just be discarding it to the beam, uh, which is not very, I mean, like, it's not very mana efficient or crystal point efficient. Dogen a great answer to the behemoth, by the way. So Nicholas here could just attack in with the bards and use the be use the Dogen to get rid of the behemoth if Gerald does uh, trade. But he'll probably just block with the Sit. No, he takes the damage. That's interesting. Okay, so he just takes the damage. A Gramis gets milled. And Nicholas stops the attack. Looks like. He drew his third Maria. Gonna get rid of your red mage. Keep you off a bit of mana. And Aruna Senna. Looking for Kani Senna. He just passes the turn. So uh looking to start building up his board there's nothing else is there anything else that uh nicholas here can sacrifice no looks like his uh his backups are all set set in stone difficult to change finally finds the lulu gonna push all his uh characters quite far up in terms of power And thinking about casting the uh, the idea. Idea to probably like force that Dogon to activate. Alright. So the Sana sisters are on the battlefield, ready to go. Ramza, okay, cool. Ramza here and just passes the turn. So Nicholas has the I maybe Nicholas has the ability right now. He has to get rid of the behemoth.
You can just use the dog gun or you can keep the dog gun to get rid of the behemoth. If need be. Or you can just swing it with the dog gun. It's quite big. I heard. Hmm. <laughs> All right, choose the untap draws. What could be the best draw here? <laughs> are those are the two center sisters. Oh no. Okay. That's unfortunate. That's not that's not what you need right now. Probably one like Alexander. And there's a hope as well. Hope looks for Alexander, I think. Yeah, this is the, this is, I think, the Opus for Alexander. Yep. Uh, this is the Opus for Alexander. Choose one, a monster, break it. Choose one backup you control, activate it, draw a card. You can use that Alexander to you know, destroy the monster that is the behemoth. Pretty smart. So Nicholas here goes attacking in with the bots first. And uh, they trade. I think you attack in with the with the Moogle too. Cause at this point, you know, Jaro is almost block everything or die. Oh, passes the turn. Okay, so gives Jaro another turn. And I I think Nicholas at this point like Nicholas needs to be applying the pressure. And you know, if Jaro here just happens to keep trading, like he can't, Jaro can't trade any more cards. Like he is, uh, you you have to starve him of uh, resources. And here is trying to get back into the game. Draws another Ramza, and this is a pretty big Ramza. All right, Barbarisha, Jara, Shara, yeah, and beats it with uh, Kanisana. Kanisana, huge, huge creature right now. And uh, if Jaro goes to try to activate the Behemoth, it's going to get taken out by the uh, by the Alexander. In response, I am just going to destroy your monster first. So uh, maybe Alexander not not so irrelevant, but uh, still a very good card. So Kanisana hits in. Uh, at this point, I think you attack it with everyone. Dogen to get rid of the last guy. You can attack him with the hope, I believe. Yep, Dogen to get rid of the Onion Knight. And there's a handshake. Nicholas takes the game. Awesome. Cool, cool. I like Nicholas's deck. Very cool. Uh you know, attacks attacks from a lot of different accesses. You know, there's remo there's straight up removal creature uh, removal. There is um 
there there's you know, card advantage you know there's there's some value untapping yeah very cool deck very cool deck all right uh we're gonna head out for the night thanks for joining us remember you can join us on the stream every friday night 8 p.m singapore time and if you like magic the gathering do tune in on wednesday 8 p.m singapore time uh otherwise just catch the replays youtube.com slash gray yoga games okay we are out for tonight thank you for joining us we'll see you guys next time bye bye